Have you ever just lost your temper? Or have you lost control of your emotions? Well, I definitely have. And in today's episode, I'm gonna share with you one time way back in the day when I lost self-control and the lessons that I learned from it. So stay tuned. Hey there, extraordinary child of God. I'm Simona, and this is a place where I help you transition from where you are to where God wants you to be. Now, in high school, my girls and I had a love-hate relationship with the boys in our class. They were our friends, we loved them, but they knew how to get on our last nerve. And one of those boys who had a particular gift of annoying us so bad was a boy named Sheldon. Yes, I said his name, and Sheldon, I hope you're watching this video right now. <laughs> and I'm only saying his name because that's my man. After all these years, we still remain friends and we share all kinds of jokes with each other. So this day in particular at school, it was a period in which I had study hall. And because I was cool with the teacher, he would just let me do whatever I wanted to do during that period. So my tendency was to go visit the art class during this time. And the art teacher didn't have a problem with me coming into her class, provided I didn't disrupt the class and I sat there quietly. So I would go in there and I'd hang out with my friends quietly as they worked on their art projects. But this particular art class, Sheldon had gotten wind of the fact that my boyfriend had broken up with me. Now this guy didn't go to our school, but some of my friends knew him and they had strongly advised that I should not date him. But I didn't care, I didn't listen. And I dated him and before I knew it, he had dumped me. So as I'm sitting in class quietly talking to my friends, Sheldon's gonna turn to me and say, hey, Simona, you got dumped. <laughs> but not only did you get dumped, you got dumped by Alabama. So I, you know, I took the bait and I turned to him and said, shut up, Sheldon. But he wasn't phased by my words. In fact, they seemed to give him life as he said it again. And so again, I told him, I said, shut your mouth, Sheldon. But the fact that I had gotten dumped was just so hilarious to him that he wouldn't let it go. And so he continued to taunt me and get on my nerves and I continued to respond. Now, apparently our little back and forth began to disrupt the class. And so the art teacher stands up and she's like, Simona, you have to leave. And now I'm steaming. But as I got up to leave, someone in that classroom was so kind to think to themselves that, you know, since Simona's being kicked out, we should send her off with a proper farewell. So they begin to sing, na, 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 na. And before they got to the hey, hey, goodbye, other people in the classroom begin to join in. And it was like they were singing in harmony. And then students begin to beat on their desk. And I'm looking at them like, y'all ain't right. I'm looking at the art teacher like, for real? You don't hear all this disruption and you're not gonna say anything? But when I looked at Sheldon, I looked at him and I gave him a look that said, after class, I'm gonna beat y'all. Now, look, don't judge me. That's just how it was. And so I waited outside that classroom because Sheldon was going to get it. He had hit a sensitive spot and I was still healing from the wounds of being dumped by a Bama. And he was just pouring salt into those wounds. So he was going to pay for that. So as soon as the bell rang and class was let out, I told him, let's finish our conversation in the gym because I'm about to fight you. And so a bunch of us headed to the gym. Now, Sheldon might tell the ending of this story a little differently, but the way I remember it is that a couple of the boys held him while I issued him some power pack punches to the chest. Now, obviously I tell this story in jest. It's just one of my funny memories from high school. But the fact is there are some very valuable lessons that can be pulled from it. The fact is Sheldon wasn't the reason I got kicked out of the classroom. I got kicked out of the classroom because I did not exhibit self-control. I chose to respond to his remarks. I chose to let them bother me. And I chose not to sit quietly and ignore him. And so in essence, I chose not to have self-control. And that's not acceptable. Because the fact is that on a daily basis, the devil is going to taunt us. He's going to do things to us with the intent of having us lose our self-control. And he does this because he knows that a man or a woman who lacks self-control is not reflecting the character of Christ which should be the ultimate goal of the Christian. Now the word of God says, he who is slow to anger is better than the mighty and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. Proverbs 16, 32. God is letting us know that there is something to be said about having self-control because when you have self-control, you are great in the eyes of God. 
Now, if you're a part of ELA, Extraordinary Living Academy, and you watched or participated in our last session, then you already know that in 2 Peter chapter 1, Peter gives us a list of eight spiritual characteristics that we must obtain to be like Christ. And one of those characteristics just so happens to be self-control. And the greatest example of self-control is the self-control that Jesus exhibited when he was taunted by the very ones he created. Imagine the self-control he had to display when the created spit in the face of the creator, whipped him, and then hung him on a cross. It took unimaginable self-control not to destroy them and give up on his mission of salvation. And I want you to know today that if Jesus could exhibit that type of self-control for you, surely you can exhibit a little bit of self-control for him. Now, if you like this t-shirt that I'm wearing, fearfully and wonderfully made black, you can order your own from my website. The link is in the description below. And as always, I need you to remember that you are extraordinary through Christ. I love you all and I look forward to seeing you next week, Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And before you go, be sure to check out this video right here. God bless.